everyone and welcome to my build a binder video where I am going to be or where I do build a binder for every new set that comes out for Pokemon. I'm so glad you guys enjoy these videos. Y'all must be organizing freaks like I can be with some of the things in my life. One of them being Pokemon cards. I love putting together binders with each new set and just getting to see all of my hits stack up in my binder. I love the way that I personally organize my binders and I'm glad you all seem to enjoy it too so I just got done opening up crown zenith for the first time I'm so excited I opened up a couple of the collection boxes and an elite trainer box in a past video that you guys would have already seen if you watch my channel every week but if not that happened and I now have the aftermath which I mean essentially is just my makeup desk and also my Pokemon card opening desk and I have got the, the aftermath like I said I've got the empty packs and I've got my stack of hits here that I need to organize and sleeve up which of course I am very excited to do so with you all so let's get to doing that shall we like always I have got the cards stacked up kind of in an order I mean not really but we just have all of the hits up top in this stack of cards it's just how I organize them while I am filming so that I can have all of my hits for a recap with you guys at the end. So all of my big hitter hits are up top here on this stack and I do have some big hitters in here so I'm trying to be careful. But the ones up top that are the big hitters that I haven't pulled yet, those go in a special sleeve. They go in, I mean special. <laughs> Okay, uh, you can use whatever sleeves you want. I just like using the clear sleeves that have a black background to them. I think it looks nice and professional, very good in the binder, and they're a little more protective than like a penny sleeve, if you will. So I put all of those top hits in one of those. So I'm talking gold cards, I'm talking V cards, I'm talking anything with texture or shine to it above a hollow. So I guess not everything. Like like promo cards I don't put in one of those black sleeves and reverse cards even if it's a reverse rare I don't put in those sleeves those I put in penny sleeves I personally use the perfect fit sleeves from Japan they are my favorite I use those like I said for hollows oops my ball. I use them for hollows and reverses, be it a reverse rare or otherwise, and that's basically what I do. I go through the cards here, the stack of cards, and I separate everything out. You know, the energy cards, which are just bulk, the code cards, those just go in recycling because I've already showed them in the video, and then I separate them. I'm trying to think. Obviously, reverse cards, and then I sleeve those up, and then hollows, I sleeve those up and then the commons and uncommons I separate out into typing and Pokemon does it the same or at least they have canonically in the past always done it in a specific order so they do the grass energy Pokemon and then they do the water and then they do the fire no they don't they do grass and then they do fire and then they do water right you would think I would have this down and then psychic electric or is it electric it's like listen COVID has done a number on my brain. This used to be like boom, 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 I gotcha. I know it ends on the colorless and then goes into trainers. Either way, I separate them out that way and then I also choose the three that I want to keep, the three that I think are best centered and just look the nicest to keep in my binder and the rest will go into bulk. At this point, I haven't opened like a ton of packs. What have I opened? 18 packs here. So it's not like I have the amount that I typically have with a booster box from a new set since they don't make booster boxes of these special like holiday type releases or whatever so I've just got 18 packs I don't know that I'm gonna have more than three of any of the cards but that is how I separate them out and I just keep them in order in terms of the numbering on the card so every card will have the number the set number on it in the bottom and I just put them in order starting with one going through to 159 and then the secret rare and then the Galarian gallery which then starts at zero again or at one again and then goes through 70 70 cards in that Galarian gallery incredible so yeah it's just me putting 
them in order. It's a long task, but I actually do enjoy doing it. So that is that. And then we get into the really fun stuff, which is actually putting together the binder, which I will take off the face cam so you guys can see that all in action. All right, my friends, here we go. The time has come. Now we can get to getting. Things have been organized. We've got the main set here. We've got the Galarian Gallery. We've got our reverse cards. We've got our stack of sticky notes, trusty pen. Uh, and also, I thought I had the binder with uh, Lucario on it, but apparently I don't. But I do have this one that I was saving for, I guess, a special occasion because it's like a super fancy one. Uh, and I feel like Crown Zenith is a super fancy occasion. So let's go ahead and use this one for our Crown Zenith binder. That's a horrible noise. Ah, it's like the, what I'm assuming to be fake leather, a little dirty, but we've got the gold and the Pikachu, so the gold kind of goes with the crown zenith, the secret rare Pikachu, yeah, yeah, it's the last set, okay, of Sword and Shield, this is exciting, oh cute, look at the little zipper, it's got a little lightning bolt on it for Pikachu there, and yeah, so it's zippered, but Ultra Pro binders are my favorite, they are just so nice, and I'm excited to start putting everything in here. Oops, sorry, stack of cards. Gotta make room, gotta make room so you guys can see the magic. There, I guess you should be able to see that for once I start writing in the sticky notes. Just as I sang the praises of Ultra Pro binders, I see that this one is like a little messed up there. Okay, well, we're gonna ignore that. So the next part, you can totally do this just by using your player's guide and using the back of it, the checklist in the back, the set list, and just go based on that if you want to do them in order like I do. I personally like to keep one of these in here so that I can do that in the future, but for now, I personally like using Pocollector. This is a site that I've talked about lots. It's got a bunch of ads on it, so it's annoying, but it's a great website if you want to track your cards. I'm all signed in here, but you can see it has all of the sets that Pokemon has ever made, along with the promos and stuff. So you can just click on whichever set you're working on. They do have two separate tabs for the sets that have like trainer galleries. So we've got the regular Crown Zenith and then we have the Crown Zenith Galarian Gallery. So we will have to toggle back and forth. But to start, we are just gonna go ahead and do the main set. You can see how many cards are in the set. You can see when it was released. You can get rid of all the ads. And then you can also use this as your checklist and your guide. So we start off. Like I said, I've got these all sectioned off, so I will grab my stack of grass cards and we will start off with our Oddish since that is card number one. And then as you go along, you can go ahead and use Pocollector to check off that you indeed have Oddish, you indeed have Gloom, yay. And then you can also see that we are missing Blossom. So I'm gonna leave that space empty there so that hopefully one day I can pull it. But then we can go on into Tangela, we can go into Tangrowth, we can do Scyther number six, and you can either check them off as you're going or once you finish the page, it's really up to you. We have got Sunkern, and then we have Yanma, and we do not have Yanmega. So for those cards, I'm gonna go ahead and use my sticky notes. This is also optional, but I personally like to do it. It makes it very satisfying, the binder process. We just write down the missing cards card so blah some and this is card number three in the set 
also we can go ahead and put our sticky note right there so that when we do pull blossom we know exactly where it goes and we can take off the sticky note it leaves behind no residue and it is super satisfying to pull that off and then we also need yon mega so we'll just write that down and that is card number nine of the set so ta-da page number one done now i can go ahead and do the very tedious task of writing in the rest of them so that'll be a speed through for you it'll be super satisfying but for me the process like i said a little tedious but we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it done together So now that that horrible work is over, yes, the dreaded, the dreaded pages and pages of sticky notes, it hurts. I hate doing it, but I like the end result, so it's worth it, right? Right. Now we can go ahead and put in our reverses. Very exciting. You just have to be careful of leaving or not leaving spaces at this point for things like a V and a V star, the radiant cards, aka things that will never come in a reverse. At least not right now. So we start off, we don't have too many of them, but we do have Scyther for number six, and we have nothing else I need to worry about there, so we can just slide him in and then we can keep going. We've got Leafeon V and V Star that we have to worry about. So Scyther, Sunkern, Yanma, Yon Mega, Cricket Tot, Cherubi, Carnivine, and then this is where the V and the V Star would have gone, but those don't exist, so then we just go to number 15, 16, 17, we skip over the Charizard V, V Star Radiant, Entei, and then Larvesta can go right here and then we keep doing that until we get all of our all of our little babies all situated oh my god i have to count all the way through to the metals okay don't worry we got this we can do this <laughs> Pinkie 2, Pinkie 
Oh my god, I hope I counted all of that correctly. Otherwise, that's gonna suck. Taurus. Speed. Leon. Potion. And there we have it. I'm gonna need to add another page for the rest of the reverses if I ever get those. But for now, here we have my binder. Do we love it? Is it everything you wanted from me? I sure hope so. And now to make this extra exciting, I have opened more cards. So this would have been last week's video for you guys. But I have additions. A very exciting one up top there. Nothing, I haven't, I said there's still rares that I'm gonna need to pull from this set which is strange, but very happy to add Charizard V-Star. We can pull the sticky off. It is one of the most satisfying things. I know you won't believe me until you do it yourself, but trust me, it's incredible and it feels so good and it's so easy to just be able to add in the cards. And if you're ever wondering why I number them, you would think the name would be enough. It's for cases like this, where there's two Lux Ray. Yeah, and it's just to make sure I put them in the correct order because my brain, since having COVID, is mush. And even before then, I can't even use that completely as an excuse because sometimes I've messed up and even put the wrong cards in the wrong set. So that's embarrassing and hopefully my numbering helps me to avoid that. So. We can add in all of these cards. It feels so good. I cannot wait to open up more so that I can hopefully get kind of a full maybe collection someday. It's going to be rough, you guys. I doubt it's going to happen just because some of the bigger hitter cards like the gold cards. But at least in the main set, yeah. Like, can we at least make the main set happen? That would be really nice. I would enjoy that. Let's see. Hoopa. Who else do we got? Galarian Perserker. We got a couple more of those. You can slide those in. We got Agron, which is great. Uh, I don't think I have any full pages yet, do I? I don't. How sad. But let's see. It's not yet. Yeah, this is just... That just looks really sad, but don't worry, someday, someday, hopefully, eventually, we will be able to do a video opening cards and you will get to see me hopefully fill up some pages. We are getting there. Greedent V, we got two of those because apparently one was not enough. There we go. We got bead. Slide him in. That's probably the closest I have to two full pages. Yikes. But friends and Sinnoh could slide that in. Happy to do that. And then our extra sad pages. Oh my try. Oh my god. <laughs> I have done a horrible thing. Oh my god, I need to fix this. I need to move all of Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I hate myself. <sighs> okay, well, I suck. I need to go ahead and move all of these. Um, I did also want to add in my promo of Lucario here since I had a couple extra slots like I tend to in these binders just to add that in for, I don't know, I mean I'll have a bunch of them by the time I'm done opening Crown Zenith so I'll be able to have one for my promo binder but then I can have one in my actual Crown Zenith binder as well. Oh my goodness. Well, in any case, this goes to show how easy it is to take off your sticky notes so that at least if you do make a huge mistake like I have, 
you know, it's doable. We can <laughs> move these all over. And uh, the part that really sucks is just having to move the cards. But in any case, we can get this done. We can do this. It'll be annoying, but we can get it done. And we can hopefully add lots of new friends along the way, like this cricket tune. Joy, rapture. I'm excited about it anyways. Alright, well, we can add in Lunatone, I think Diancy, yes, we got a couple of those, but I think that's about it for these very sparse pages. Got another Swablu. On these pages, we can add in the adorable little Mareep and the Ente, I thought, yes, here we go. Joy. For these pages, we can add in the beautiful Zashian V. We love to see it. Well, if nothing else, this gives me a good excuse to try and see if I counted correctly the reverse cards. By some miracle, it was meant to be. I am so glad I went and corrected all of that because it means that it actually will end right here. So I don't have to add an extra page to this binder. And now you can see what it looks like in this terrible lighting. I am so sorry, it gets so dark so early. Uh, but yes, I still have lots missing as you can see. But this is the binder thus far. Thus Far. We are trying. We are getting there, right? We are going places. I have yet to make any two pages complete, which is actually really sad to see. And even though it feels like pull rates are good, I don't know. I mean, maybe I guess I haven't opened that many packs yet, but uh, especially when we get to the uh, Galarian Gallery, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got a lot of cards to search for, but shoot, I am happy with what I have so far, that's for sure, and I am glad, as always, that you want to come on this journey with me. Uh, do we have any two blank pages for the reverses? I don't think so, thank goodness. But, there you go, you guys, there you can see my crown zenith binder hey ho what a beaut we love to say it so yeah that was that that was my binder build i hope you enjoyed it you guys i hope you enjoyed seeing me put together my binder for crown zenith i am so excited about it you guys can certainly let me know down in the comments below which cards are you the most excited about from this set what have you pulled that's been really exciting what are you going to be hunting for all that good stuff please just let me know in the comments below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video found it helpful somehow whatever the case may be by giving it a thumbs up down below i really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you and go ahead and subscribe you can tip me to have that notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family be it here on this channel or my main channel i'd love to have you here there and everywhere and as always i just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye